Welcome to the Miami Heat Zone Podcast. I am your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. Guys, we are so close to 3,000 subscribers. If you're watching this video, hit that subscribe button, and I appreciate all the support. So, and Scout said that since the Miami Heat added Terry Rozier, they're better than the New York Knicks. He said the guy is much better than what they had, the Scout said. Whether he's a starter or a six-man, he's major minutes guy, and... He's going to give them some juice. It's like an instant injection. I think it moves them up to me. They're better than the New York Knicks now. However, the Miami Heat are struggling right now. They're on a five-game losing streak compared to the New York Knicks where they've been balling. You know what I mean? They got an OG and an OB. He's been great defensively for them. I think that as a team, the Miami Heat are a better all-around team, even though they're not playing good basketball right now. I think Jalen Brunson is a dog. I think that with their coaching and their defense, where the New York Knicks, they have arguably one of the best defenses in the NBA right now. However, when it comes down to Jalen Brunson, especially going into the playoffs, they're going to treat him like how they treated Trey Young. When you're able to throw multiple defenders at a pretty much, what, a 6-1 point guard, you can throw Caleb Martin, Haywood Highsmith, Bam Adebayo, Jimmy Butler. There's so many defenders that you can throw his way to at least, not necessarily neutralize him, but at least slow him down because Trust me, Jalen Brunson is a dog. He's a guy that he can pretty much score on all three levels. I don't trust Julius Randle, and the fact that they said that he could be better than Chris Bosh was absolutely blasphemy to me. But I think that the New York Knicks, they're kind of like the Miami Heat. I just don't think they have enough offensive power, in my opinion, to compete with the Miami Heat. And I know that sounds crazy. I know that sounds crazy because right now the Miami Heat's offense is terrible. They're playing like absolute garbage. But it's kind of like what we saw last year. If you're able to slow down Brunson, I think you should be able to handle the New York Knicks. Because like I said, I don't trust Julius Randle and all the other guys. Yeah, they're good defenders, but they can't score compared to the Miami Heat. And like I said, I know it sounds crazy because the New York Knicks are whooping people right now. But when you really talk about playoff matchups and really locking in on people and keying up on people, I think Tibbs is a great coach and a great defensive coach. But I think that still the Miami Heat were better without Terry Rozier than the New York Knicks. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 3,000 subscribers.